finishing up a really fine spell here. In 1981, he won the famous match at Headingley against Australia. And in that game, he made 199 runs and took six wickets. At Edgbaston, he took five for one from 28 balls. And then he hit a brilliant 118 at Old Trafford. And really, this match is crying out now for some of the belligerents that Ian Botham showed at Headingley. There's another one. And the roars of the crowd can be entirely understood because they've had to wait patiently for any aggression from the England batsman. Whitney to Botham. Oh. And that is off the inside edge, extremely lucky, going for a big shot through the covers. And a very thin inside edge. Marsh having no chance of cutting it off with his left hand. Whitney now to Botham. Botham's on 21. Four goes to 25. They just mustn't give this fellow room to play outside the off stump. It doesn't appear as though they've uh, picked up anything from their Headingley experience. Anything that gives him room outside the off stump, he just thrashes. Yeah. And they mustn't give him room outside the off stump. My memory of that old traffic match is of Dennis Lilly bowling very fast and of you hitting him into the crowd. We tested me, once the new ball had been taken, he had the new ball in his hand, he tested me with a few short balls. And uh, by, the, by that time I was seeing it pretty well. And it was my day, because if it hadn't been my day, one of those balls would have hit me on the head or would have, gone, you know, would have nicked it or whatever. And you know, everyone talks about those shots. It's the one I enjoyed most off Dennis that day was one when I smashed it back uh, through mid-off. And it went past Dennis at about head high and he took evasive action. I mean, I did cream that one. Dennis Lilly. In the air, and six. That was a good hit, because he was beaten for pace with it, and he took his eye off it and still swung the bat and collected it over deep square leg. In the air, and again. He's beaten Whitney and Wood away there at deep square. England Australia, it's, it's the old battle, it's the old challenge, it's the ashes, it's what, uh, it's, I suppose really it's what an Englishman and Australian dreams about playing in as an Ashes series, because it, it's the history of the two countries in cricket, it, it goes back, it's more than a game of cricket, it's war. <laughs> now they're just not learning at all, the Australian bowlers. At Headingley, they gave both them room to play strokes. Here, they're doing it again, and he smashed them for a quick 50. 60 balls it's taken him, two sixes and six fours. And it's delighted this capacity crowd here at Old Trafford. Good shot. <laughs> well, Dennis was very lucky there that uh, he was on the way down with his head as the ball went past. So Botham has gone ahead of Tavare now. 65 to number six and 63 to number three. And uh, that drew Alderman into the trap. The first one up to be driven down the ground. Now that was just about the best shot both them's played today. Six. He plays that shot very well. It <laughs> doesn't bother looking at it. It just swats it away like a well as though you're smashing a fly. Well, that one didn't. Uh, Lily's there. Uh, it's cleared him over the ropes. What a magnificent way to go to a six. What a superlative exhibition this has been. And the whole of 
Old Trafford rising to its feet to acclaim yet another memorable, magnificent performance from Ian Botham. Down the wicket, big hit, glorious shot, all the way. Up go the arms, six more for Botham. And that six times he's cleared the boundary in his total of 109. A little bit of lift there and he's gone, caught behind, and the end of a truly memorable, magnificent performance by Ian Botham. 118. Nothing could have been better for a, a packed Saturday afternoon crowd than to see an exhibition of stroke play such as we've seen from Ian Bolton. In the next match at the Oval, 